For more videos on people's struggles, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. European rights. The fight goes on for press freedom and for the freedom of Julian Assange. But today has been a victory, the first victory in 10 years. Hundreds of people who had gathered outside the London Central Criminal Court celebrated the denial of the US plea to extradite Julian Assange. Judge Vanessa Baritzer refused the plea to extradite the WikiLeaks founder on the grounds that there was a high chance of his committing suicide due to the brutal prison conditions there. Do celebrate! <laughs> that the American prison system is so bad that even this judge wouldn't send Julian Assange into it. We've monitored this morning's extradition decision in the case of WikiLeaks publisher Julian Assange. We welcome this decision um, on the grounds that he will not be extradited because of his serious mental health issues. But we are very concerned about the substance of the decision. We disagree with the judge's assessment that this case is not politically motivated, that it's not about free speech. We continue to believe that Mr. Assange was targeted for his contributions to journalism. And until the underlying issues here are addressed, other journalists sources and publishers remain at risk. So we will continue to advocate for the broader issues at stake, even though we do welcome the fact that Mr. Assange will not be extradited to the United States. Assange's bail application will be heard on Wednesday. Assange has been in jail since his arrest by the London Metropolitan Police on April 11th, 2019. Thank you all of you. This was a case not only about freedom of expression. It was also a case about human rights. It was a case about the right of for political asylum and i want to say something i feel very proud for my country protecting julian assange for so many years Bravo. against all international uh, pressure Bravo. Bravo. and i feel ashamed about the decision of the Ecuadorian government in 2019 to gape up and to hand Julian over to the Americans and to the British. As of December 2020, he has spent nearly a decade in confinement in one form or the other. Assange faces a total of 18 charges in the U.S. under the infamous Espionage Act and the Computer Fraud and Abuse Act. If extradited and convicted, he could face a prison sentence of up to 175 years. Assange is being persecuted for his work with Chelsea Manning, which exposed U.S. war crimes and atrocities in Iraq and Afghanistan. During the period of the extradition trial, Assange was held under judicial remand in a high-security prison in Belmarsh, near London. Several experts, including medical practitioners and a U.N. special rapporteur, stated that his physical and mental health deteriorated inside the prison. The verdict was a relief to Assange's family and supporters. However, a long battle lies ahead. Good news comes from England. The extradition case against Julian Assange has for the present gone on the side of justice. He will not be extradited to the United States based on medical grounds. This is of course not sufficient. Julian Assange should be immediately freed from Belmarsh prison, not only on bail, but he should be freed on the grounds that there is no case against him. He is a publisher, a journalist, a person who revealed U.S. war crimes in Afghanistan, in Iraq, in other places. There is no reason to have him imprisoned. What this shows, of course, is that the British judiciary, for the moment, after having walked away from the European project, is not willing to fully subordinate itself to the United States of America. But remember, this is for the moment. There is no guarantee that Britain is not going to pursue some form of extradition of Mr. Assange to the United States of America. Sensitive people around the world should continue to press for the immediate release of Julian Assange. We welcome the fact that there is going to be no immediate extradition, but we want to see Julian walking the streets of the world as soon as possible. The prosecution will appeal the verdict. There were also voices of caution 
due to the judge accepting most of the prosecution's arguments. First of all, the vast majority, I would say 95% of this judge's judgment was to uphold the prosecution's case for extradition. She refused extradition at the last moment, in the last words of her judgment, because she accepted that Julian Assange was a suicide risk and that if he was put under special administrative measures in the United States prison system, that would be an oppressive act. And on that basis, she refused extradition. Yeah,